Hello my Cancers and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course, I'm Debbie and I am reading February 25th through March 2nd. Okay, so I've done an overview. I can't remember the name of course. Uh, having faith, power of faith, something like that. It's got, you know, we have to always keep those vibrations up. Take a peek at it if you would please. Now, Remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay, my Cancers. Oh, I feel like you need to make sure that you are re doing your research. I make. I want to. You know. I kind of feel like if there's um, almost like there's a test coming up, and you need to make sure you've done. You've studied everything that you can study. That you know your material. That you know it inside and out. Because I feel like yeah, do your research. Because there's going to be something that's brought up and you're going to have to say no. No, no, that's not quite how that works. Not quite sure where that's going. But do your research and really look at all the details. Okay? And be prepared. Be prepared, my um, cancers, to open your mouth. Okay? Be prepared to speak. But you have to know what you're talking about. And you will. You will. You will definitely do that. So here we go. Higher power, Holy Spirit. And remember, we are coming on the other side of that full moon. You are the moon baby, the moon child. So take advantage of that energy. Okay, let's see. And it's Virgo. So Virgo means, yeah, get your, um, get your, um, get your ducks in order. Okay? Okay. Here we go. Let's see what we have here for my Cancers, Higher Power and Holy Spirit. What else is there for our Cancers? Remember, anything reversed has a little more oomph to it. Let's see. First card. Solutions. Keeping a balance. Archangel Zedkiel. Zedkiel of the violet light that just makes you just glow and feel so good inside. So we have a 14. We have a 1. New beginnings. Um, 10. Transitional energy. 4 is our... Um, it is organization, leadership. It's also um, stability. Add it together. 5. And it becomes change. Change, change, change. So solutions is also connected with balance. Bal you know, keeping a balance, finding. But also, I'm getting really with the solutions. And this is why you have to do your research. This is why you have to do your homework. Because there's gonna, you're going to be able to come up with ideas that just were not thought of before. And I'm not sure why. what this is. If you're going on a job interview, you're going to be able to, like, dazzle them with what you know. Okay? So, But you have to know what you know what you know. Okay. So, success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. And remember, forgiving does not mean that you have to invite anyone back into your life. It just helps you to cut the cords, okay? It frees you. It frees you. It, you know, again, sets you free. Next card is... King of Raphael. So King's underlying energy, because court cards have underlying energies. So uh, King's is um, air energy. It is um, our thought processes, thinking things through, making plans. It's Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Now, we know Libra, the south node is in Libra, so dealing with some past issues. But also we have, what did I say? It was Mercury, it was Pluto, it was Venus. Mercury and Venus were do. I'm not sorry, not Mercury. Mars and Venus, oh my goodness, they were squaring. They were squaring off with Jupiter in the overview. So, you know, and that's an Aquarius. So, again, thought processes, thinking things through. You could be even hearing some news about some changes going on. Now, the key, but Raphael is your sign. Raphael is also Pisces and Scorpio. Now, Pisces has some stuff. There's, what did I say? There was a, tr a triple conjunction, conjunction with Pisces going on. So it is going to be very rule-oriented, very, there's going to be some really, you know, stick to the facts. Just the facts. Just the facts. Okay? But the King of Raphael is also very um, emotion. The King of Raphael has gone through you know, has gone through the roller coaster of emotions, gone up and down, but has come out of it so much better than when he went in. We've heard about IQs, intellectual quotients. These are, this is the emotional quotient, the EQ. This is where you come out with maturity. You come up, come out with maybe more understanding. Again, it is, you know, we talk about forgiving and healing energy. 
But again, it does not mean that you do not have boundaries. And that is one thing with the King of Raphael that's pulling at me right now. It is maintain your boundaries. You can still love, but maintain your boundaries throughout whatever this is going on. So we have warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. So there we go with that. Now our next card reversed. Five of Ariel. So five, so we have a one, four, five, five, one, four. So five is about change, positive change or negative change. We, you know, but change is change is change. Change can, you know, can be a little bit frightening, can be a little bit worrisome. Ariel is our Earth energy. It is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Remember, nothing's in Capricorn right now. So, and that's your mirror. Okay, you know your Cancer Moon is in Capricorn. You know when the Capricorn season's here, your Cancer moon is full moon then. So it's kind of your mirror, but the restrictions are off because nothing is in Capricorn right now. There's things going on with Taurus, and again we had the Virgo full moon. So money, job, career. Also, home energy things, you know, home, you know, home type of, um, you know, um, things going on. <laughs> okay, but the five of Ariel, five of Pentacles is usually a little worrisome. It's kind of like, you know, oh, you know, do I have the money for this? Do I have the money for that? The five of Ariel for you, though, and I'm going to bring her closer because I do like her face. The five of Ariel, look at that. She is not worried. Okay, so you may feel worry. You may feel some changes. I feel like whatever is going to go ha happen here is kind of like you might be a little worried about some changes in money, in money, but don't worry about it because it's gonna it's going to be more towards your positive than it is to your negative. Okay, and I do feel like you've got you know with with whatever this energy is, you have resources that you don't even know that you have. Okay, so here we go here. You needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. This is really, really important for you, my cancers. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecy. So, you know, again, it's a, it's a time to really believe the positive energies. Believe that there is a God watching over you. Believe that you have your are your angels watching over you believe that you are not alone and believe that whatever this outcome is going on here because i feel you know that it's going to be a great and best outcome for you okay so something's going on you might be a little worried about the money but don't worry so much it's going to be much better than you thought and like i said i love her you know when you look at her she is not worried she is at peace or she looks very actually she kind of has this I know something you don't know, okay? So let's see what else we've got going on. Higher power and Holy Spirit. What else do you have? What else do you want to say? What else would you like to share with our cancers for this period? With our cancers. Here we go. Reversed. 20. 20. So we have a 2. Two is choices, decisions, crossroads, partnering, and we have zero, God source energy. And this is where it all comes down to looking at everything. This is the judgment card. This is review and contemplation. This is where you just need to really take a moment and just look at how far you've come. Okay? So here we go. You've accomplished a great deal in your life, and you have much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what's next. As you contemplate the past and the present, you'll get a you'll get a clear you'll get clear on your divine purpose. I also felt like that you'll get closure, not on your divine, but I, I felt like you'll get closure. But you'll get cl you'll get clear on your divine purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking. Be the real you. I feel like there's closure happening this week for one of my some of my cancers. Anyway. Let's go on in here and see what else we might have. Okay, this is my uh, inspirational wisdom. I love these cards too. Um, okay, so higher power and Holy Spirit. What else is there? What else do you want to say for to our cancers? What's else for our cancers? What else for our cancers here? Cancer, cancer, cancer. 
Okay, this is Titania's Flight. She comes by a lot, but we don't we haven't seen her in a while. You have had problems in the past, but to move on, you must both forgive and forget. Learning from mistakes will enrich your life. So there's moving on, but again goes back to here, forgiving and healing energies. You have to forgive and forget. Okay? Cut the cords. Cut those cords. Here we go. And and be free. Be free, my cancers. Look how far you've come. Okay, let's go on. What crystal or energy is there for my cancers? And remember, I'll do the angel answers in a moment. What crystal or energy for my cancers to wear, have by their bedside, however, whatever. Here we go. Okay. Fire, passionate, creation, travel, courage. Candles, maybe. I don't know. Wear the that wear the bold colors of fire could be too. Fire and cancer in a fire and water. Um, cook the water. <laughs> here we go. Boil. All right. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. Pull up your passion. Okay. Let's see what else we have for my cancers. Or what's what is the answer? What's the answer for my cancers? Here we go. Get your question ready. Remember, this is more for fun than any of the others. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, answer is communicate clearly. Communicate clearly. Kind of goes back to what I was saying in the beginning, right? Okay. Anyway, my cancer's interesting time. You got this. Don't, don't, don't worry, but do your homework. Okay? Okay. Anyway, my cancers, do me my favor because it helps. It truly helps. Everybody's been doing this so much and it's, I've been, the videos are being seen more. And like I said, I'm not making any money, but thank you, Jesse, <laughs> on these videos. But I do enjoy doing it and by you encouraging me keeps me coming back. Anyway, do me my favor by liking, sharing, subscribing, clicking on the bell for notifications. You help me out a lot by doing that. If you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me. As always, my Cancers, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.